Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am so happy that you wanted to join me today because this video is important to me and it's something that I spend a lot of time talking about when I'm giving lectures about zero waste. So I thought it would be great to dedicate a video to this topic. Also, it's something that I mention a lot in other sort of videos, but never have there ever been a video specifically targeted at this subject. So I want to talk about what happened to me and what happened to my head and my mental sort of process when I ditched disposable plastic products. So in this video, I want specifically to talk about what happened when I started refusing plastic straws, plastic cutlery, plastic plates, plastic bags, all of these very meaningless items that we use every day and sadly over half of all the plastic that is produced in the world is produced with the purpose of being used only once and then disposed of and um, so it's this category of waste is rather large and that's why I thought I wanted to dedicate a video talking about it so yeah okay so I realized quite recently that something had happened in the span of these three years and obviously things happen anyway whether or not you ditch plastic or not because life so what happened to me is that I realized that I've been using a lot of energy processing a uh, daily routines and daily practices that involved plastic and that involved waste in one way or another and I've been using a lot of my energy just processing it just subconsciously it's just been there I read somewhere that the average person sees and subconsciously processes about 7,000 advertisements every single day and it's just a really nice picture because it, it sort of illustrates that we have a lot of things going on without even knowing it and as and as plastic products and disposables are just a huge part of our lives, obviously they're going to leave some sort of impact, not just on the planet, obviously on the planet as well, but also in our minds and in our heads and what we do and, and how we perceive the world, everything is so connected, everything is so linked. So I, I used to fill my daily routines with tons of meaningless objects. To me, a plastic straw has no positive meaning whatsoever. To me, a plastic utensils or disposable cup does not have any sort of meaning to me yet I let them be such a huge part of the way that I lived and just a huge part of how I, I existed in the world because they become tools of your daily practice if it does this make any sort of sense just raise a hand if, if you're not following um, so these meaningless items they take up such huge spaces and such huge uh, parts of our heads that when I ditched them when I started using a glass and a stainless steel straw when this became my new normal when this became you know my routine this is what I do every day now I sort I sort of had tons and tons of space available for all sorts of other things so the spaces that had been used to uh, process disposables, process single-use items suddenly became available for all sorts of other things and zero waste really helped me target my actual values in life and what I actually want to do and it actually also helped me target how I actually feel about things because I had sort of become numb to a lot of different subjects and a lot of... But, uh, there are so many things that I didn't consider and I there are so many things that I didn't really reflect upon and I sort of have the mental capacity to reflect upon these things now which is amazing I'd never never thought that disposable plastic would would have taken up so much of my mental capacity but it did but 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 it's so important though because it's so important because whenever you whatever you surround yourself with will sort of affect you 
all the time. So if you surround yourself with a lot of meaningless things or if you surround yourself with a lot of things with which you have negative connotations like I knew plastic straws were bad and I thought plastic straws were also not very uh, aesthetically pleasing so it sort of disturbed my, my image whenever I saw a plastic straw and a plastic bag the same way. It's not beautiful, it's not something that you treasure and it's not something that you have positive or even neutral connotations with it's something that 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 takes up so much space both in your actual physical space but also in your in your mental space it just it affects you so so much and i didn't even know that it affected me the way that it did but now i sort of have the mental capacity to actually target my actual values and my goals and what i actually want to do i have i have the the excess of energy to do a bullet journal. I have the excess energy to exercise, which is something I know it sounds completely mad that that is linked to my usage of disposables, but it is though because ditching disposables was also a part of a more healthy lifestyle which I was moving towards and it took up so much space for me and just so much energy that now I have sort of all this energy to spare and I can use it in a much more effective and sufficient way. Does that make any sort of sense? So, mm. this is simply just to say that what you choose to surround yourself with will have an impact on the way that you feel, which makes sense. That is why we strive towards beautiful homes and nice clothes and nice company and stuff. That is why we, we usually move towards good feelings and you know pleasantness but in that process we usually forget that waste and trash is something that we surround ourselves with every single day and that also has a negative impact upon our lives and refusing stuff and saying no to things and rethinking and reflecting upon these small yet very meaningful practices can be really really helpful both for the environment, I know Mother Nature, my home girl, will thank you. But it's also something that can really help your own mental health and your own physical health. Um, just saying. <laughs> but it sounds so weird though, but it's so, so true. I mean it, it's so, so true. So, mm, if I lost a plastic straw, I wouldn't think twice about it and I wouldn't mind and I wouldn't bother and care. But if I lost this, I would sort of care a lot, actually. I would be quite quite bummed out that I didn't have my lovely stainless steel straw with me anymore. So putting things into your life and allowing things to enter your life that are meaningful is so much healthier and it it gives you more energy and it gives you more positive energy as well which is something that I think is very very important to mention because this adds positivity in my life, this adds quality and meaning and we should all strive towards more quality content within our lives and we should all strive towards be doing meaningful things because that is all conscious consuming really is it's doing things that are meaningful and not just because it's the easier thing because it's convenient because it's routine that's simply not enough we can do better and we should do better I hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, leave me a thumbs up, that would make my day. You can also subscribe to this channel, which would also make my day. If you haven't been here before, I have tons of guides and videos and recipes, and you can just go bonkers. It's lovely. You can also follow me on Instagram and on Facebook and on my own blog, giddymary.com. All the links are down below, and I sincerely hope to see you guys in my next video. Take really good care of yourselves. Until then, bye.